On this episode, we'll be visiting music class at Andersonville Elementary with instructor Katie Harris and her new books for music. Um, we got about 30 books and we use the books in all sorts of different ways. I was using the book Brown Bear, Brown Bear, which most of the students know they've read it in their classrooms. Um, and we use it to sing, to sing in music class, we sing through it. And then each student is given um, an animal and we go through. Um, it's helpful for me because sometimes when the children are singing, uh, they're singing books that they already know, they almost forget that they're singing. And it's a really wonderful way for me to assess who's using a singing voice, who's matching pitch. And um, I can do all of that stuff and the activity kind of runs itself because they know the book so well. Round horse, round horse, what do you see? I see a striped zebra looking at me. Striped zebra, striped zebra, what do you see? I see a black bear looking at me. Some of the other books we've bought helps me introduce the orchestra to students so we can go through the story of Peter and the Wolf. Each character in the book is represented by a different instrument. Um, it just gives us another way to kind of read through this story and talk about the different instruments um, in music. A book like Listen to the Rain is a book that I would use in the springtime and we would um, use mallets on box tops to create the rainstorm. Um, so we use a little uh, sound effect unit in there um, and the rain gets louder and softer so that's really wonderful um, and then I have about um, geez maybe 10 of these books I'll use these at the end of class to sing through some older folk songs um, that we don't they aren't really passed down from parents to children as much as um, they used to be um, so this song is uh, this book is um, Jenny Jenkins and they're just beautifully illustrated so the children have something to look at and focus on while I'm going through and singing um, this this folk song and all of the books have some music notes in the back for the song and we can talk about how if you want to play this on the piano this is you know what the music would look like these are so helpful in my classroom just another thing just anything um, you know, kind of tangible that we can use with all of the auditory stuff that's going on in music class we really appreciate that's all for this episode but we've got more to share with you next time on make your optimism come true and made possible by the Clarkson Area Optimist Club.